Tonight on Chris Hummel's Horrible Show, I really screwed it up. It's a horrible show. I was gonna eat worms. Well, I ate worms. You just don't get to see me eat worms. I talk about how I ate the worms, but I screwed it all up. Anyway, what else is new? Episode 10, double digits. See you now. See you now, what's that? Welcome to Chris Huddle's Horrible Show, episode number 10. We hit double digits. Oh my gosh, I never thought it would go this far, but it has. I'm still interested in the show, and 27 people on YouTube are interested, and 11 people on Facebook. Remember, HollywoodRejects.com, Facebook page, address, bing, 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 bing. So, here's the deal. First of all, uh, no, I'll get to the deal first because the deal sucks. The deal is I just filmed this entire episode. And when I went to turn the camera off, it says no memory card. Why didn't you tell me that when I turned it on and pushed record? Why didn't you say, hey, dummy, no memory card? Because you thought I was smart enough, JVC that maker of my camcorder, you thought I was smart enough to figure that out. Well, guess what? I wasn't. You didn't warn me. I turned it off. It says no memory card. And the entire episode never happened. So what? Film it again, right? Except for show and tell was an eating show and tell. And I ate it all. And it's in my stomach. Basically, from episode nine, I was at the pumpkin patch and they in the little gift short store they had larvettes, worms. See the little worms on the outer package? Larvettes, Mexican spice, worm snack. So I just spent the time that the memory card wasn't in there eating, here's the wrapper. And of course you could say, ah, you liar, you didn't eat worms. You're you're making up some grandiose excuse and you just flushed them down the toilet. I didn't. I actually have bits of worm in my teeth and uh, to make a long story short uh, I had a whole episode where I'm going here pouring them in my hand going mmm they were good. They were actually delicious. There spoiler alert. Um, they were really good. They taste like pork rinds. That's kind of what I was saying back when I was eating them. I had bits of worm in my teeth and I basically said mmm I love worms. I love worms. I love eating worms. And I, you know, and it was better when you got to see it. But you're just going to have to listen to me tell you about it. Or I'll have to go back to the pumpkin patch and buy more worms before Halloween. So, I screwed that pooch. The other thing I screwed up, the curtain. Usually I have a black and white curtain behind me. Today I'm like, you know what, I'm just not feeling it. If I was feeling it, I probably would have saw there was no memory card in there and I would have ate the worms now when I'm actually filming. So I just left the green screen up and you know what, maybe I'll do some weird, funny, ha ha, he he, uh, backdrops. I know the green screen sucks. I've looked at people filming in front of a green screen like this and it's blinding. But I'm lazy. It would take me literally two minutes to drop the curtain. And the reason I don't have the curtain down is because the interns, if I left it down all the time, would scratch the curtain up and it would be a big curtain of felt, scratch, marks, dust, and it wouldn't work. So it has to go up so they don't go like that. Um, this is just, uh, by the way, that's the old green screen. That color doesn't work. It doesn't throw enough light back and it sucks. Um, this is the color I want, but this is just poster board. It's temporary, so I have to go to the paint store and say, make me a whole gallon of paint for this, and then I will paint the entire thing. And I think I've been talking about that for like months and months and months and months, and I just keep procrastinating. So, you already saw Show and Tell the Worms that you didn't get to see, but I ate the worms, and we talked about that. The other Show and Tell thing, Hollywood uh, Spirit or Hollywood Ween Store or whatever the hell that was. About four years ago, I got this little guy and I keep him on my desk all year round because it's kind of entertaining and it's creepy all at once. It's a little baby. <laughs> and 
and he's creepy and he's holding a heart with a fork and there's nothing creepier than a little baby that laughs <laughs> creepily and has a heart that he's getting ready to eat. I mean, that you can't get creepier than that. Um, so, uh, next week, Halloween, um, my brother-in-law and niece and nephew always, and it seems to get bigger every year, um, and the neighbors and then the neighbors, 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 and the neighbors, friends and everything, it's kind of getting word of mouth. So we get more people every year. They build a haunted house in their front yard entryway. We put up plastic wrap. Well, we meaning my brother-in-law, because I just go over for the fun and scare people and then it's like oh, I'm go work tomorrow and then they have to deconstruct the whole thing and it's been my like little bit and now that I'm putting on a film he knows that I'm lazy I don't help build it I don't help take it down but I do scare people so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a camera this time so when I scare the F out of uh, the people, and I go after the adults worse than the kids. Um, if there's like a four-year-old, I don't, well, I make them cry, but I don't try to make them cry. And I take off my mask, I'm like, well, look, I'm, and then I take the mask off, and they're like even really crying because it's terrifying. Ha ha, uh, I just kicked over my light. Um, boy, what a great show episode 10 is. I mean, wee! It's a whole big mess. Speaking of ghosts and goblins, he went down to the cemetery and then behind the gravestone popped up something scary. I, I'm not good at this story, but I am good at scaring people. So, um, Jesus, I'm knocking down lights and freaking everything. What a horrible episode. It sucked. But you know what? I'm too lazy to film it again. I'm not going to go and throw up the worms so you can see them again. And it's just a hot mess. Hopefully uh, episode 11 is better. And now the tripod's broken. And so anyway, I'm going to film next week's episode. Scaring people. And there we go. So I'll see you next week. Or sooner. Bye. Roll the credits.